hi guys i'm back with a new video i'm looking a bit rough because i just jumped out of bed i feel like i just jump out of bed and start videos but then that's how it's supposed to be look at my face i just got out of bed but i'm looking like this it's in my blood what are you talking about who says something who says something are you fresh like this you cannot be today is the day before ghana's independence day the day before ghana was liberated from the Oboronese. and i'm going out i haven't been out since the last charity with me video i did for halloween so i haven't been out since october i've just been in hibernation just doing uni work and all of that but tonight we outside tonight i'm gonna out i'm stepping outside <laughs> everybody should be scared tonight i'm coming out be fearful today what we're doing is i'm just gonna be getting ready i have to put my wig in i have to you know look like a pink thing i already look pink i need to look pink ah pink s you get me so it's gonna be a get ready with me and i posted on my instagram that you guys should send me questions and the questions i got <laughs> they weren't too bad i'm actually very happy with you guys they weren't bad questions not too you know yeah not too <laughs> but yeah i'll be answering all your questions while i get ready for the ghana party this evening and yeah that's basically it first thing i'm gonna do is get in the shower you know that one you kind of see you can't see they can't need much <laughs> I'm jamming to music here. I'm having a solo Ghana party. I'm doing pre-party for the actual party. What are you saying? Pre-party for the actual party. Let's get into some questions. I've got my iPad here. You people were asking me a whole lot. How old are you guys? I'm 20 years old. I'm 20. I still can't believe I'm 20. Because two, two, a whole two zero. I've lived two decades. Two long decades on this earth. Hmm? Too long decades is unbelievable. Do you know sometimes when people ask me for my age and I say 20, I'm just like, did I really just say I'm 20? Am I actually 20? Sometimes I just slip up and say 18. But yeah, I'm 20. I turned 20 in December. <laughs> Alright, so I just brushed my teeth and hey, that's in my teeth. Look at me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Let's get back into the question. Some some people have been asking me for my skincare routine. That's even one of the questions. I think I'll do like a separate video for my skincare routine. And I'm just putting water on my face. And I use my serums. I'll do an in-depth skincare routine for you guys. But you went to JHS at Queensland. You went to JHS at Queensland. Is that proper English? Anyways, you get you get you get what the, the question is. I was in Queensland from kindergarten to JHS. That's like 12, 13 years of my life. Cap. I counted it was just eleven years. So yes. I got this question quite a lot in like different different formats. Where you did, where are you now? Where have you traveled to? Where do you live now? Da 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 Yeah. Guys, I'm in Barbados. Okay? I'm in Barbados. I'm just kidding guys. I'm in the UK. I'm in the UK for uni. I'm a university babe now. Okay, I'm not a young girl. I'm not a small girl. I'm in uni. Okay. Uni. Which SHS did you attend? I went to Akusumbo International. AIS. You know. There's not much I can say about AIS. I don't want to get into trouble, so let me just yap my mouth. I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I went to AIS. It was, a, it, was a, it was an experience. That was what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm putting on my face, guys. Should I put my hand like the way they do it in the <laughs> influencer? I'm not a fighter, but I'm a I didn't even know I could think that. Protect yourself. Think. Protect yourself. Yeah, so I'll put all the serums on now. I'm just gonna put lotion. It's just a basic moisturizing lotion. 
and then i'll put sunscreen and then that's basically it that's like my everyday skincare routine i'm not using too much because obviously it's night i think i said this is my first get ready with me why am i using sunscreen in the night the sun is still around okay it's just hiding <laughs> It's just hiding, so I'm not gonna use too much because, yeah, obviously it's nice. Alright, that's basically it for the skincare aspect of things. I need to keep your lips supple. Alright, so right now I'm just, you know, prepping up my wig. It's a bit dry, so I'm just spraying it with water and conditioner. When are you going to start wrapping professionally? <laughs> Guys, I don't know why you took that video to heart. It was just a hobby, literally, it was just a hobby. And I don't think I'm ever going to rap professionally. It's just something that I liked to do at the point. And I feel like it stemmed from the fact that I listened to too much rap music. So I just thought, oh, let me just, you know, let me just jump on it and see what I can do. <laughs> if I'm casted to be a female rapper in like a movie or a series, I'll definitely do it. But then to rap and cast idea. <laughs> Nah, it's not gonna happen. Sorry, my skin is really shiny, shiny. <laughs> fresh girl. I'm a fresh girl. Are you a shy person? I honestly feel like I'm a very shy person, and people don't think like that. Like they think I'm very open and fun and jolly. Obviously, that's not a lie, but I feel like in a new environment, like for example, coming to uni, I'm very extremely reserved. Like. I have a very close, tight-knit circle when we go out, like, I don't find it easy just going up to people to talk to them, like, I'm the type of person to not speak until I'm spoken to. People have always thought that, oh, I'm too known, or I, I, I didn't see my body or something like that, but it's just that I'm just so shy, like, if you come up to me and you start talking to me, you realize that, oh, she's actually a chill person. That's what I get from most of the people that come and speak to me. They'll just be like, oh, I thought you'd be rude, but then you're actually chill. The issue is I'm shy. Like, I want to talk to you, but then I cannot, um, like, just come up to you and come speak to you. Like, I'll just be nervous. Even people in my class right now, I still haven't spoken to because I'm shy. <laughs> but yeah, just come and talk to me. I will talk to you as well. And when I get comfortable, you'll be like... Who's this girl? She's like a totally different person. I'm just shy and introverted, if you understand. All right, so let's install this wig. I want to, like, my wig is a middle part, and I want to do a side part today. I don't know why I'm feeling a bit dangerous. <laughs> I'm feeling dangerous today. I want to try something new. So yes, I went from scarf to wig in two seconds. Anyway, the next question is, um, which football team do you support? And Today, it feels very embarrassing to say that I support Man United after what Liverpool did to us, but then I support Man United, guys. Do you think I'm thin? I'm a Man U babe, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm currently fighting for my life. My phone keeps telling me I don't have storage. I don't understand the meaning of that. Someone said, why are you so fine? Why are you so pretty? Why are you so pretty like that? My mama bought me well. My mama, my mama bought me well. My parents didn't come to play when they gave back to me. What are you talking about? Look at this face. Look at this face. Jeez. You don't look for me anymore. Do you look for me? Do you look for me? Do you? Hmm? This year, if you don't make an effort, you're not here for me. You can say anything that you want to say. If you don't look for me, I'll not look for you. Okay? That's all. How many bald eggs can you eat? So I'm assuming you're talking about egg and pepe. That's one of my favorite things to eat. On a good day, I can eat like three, four, you understand? On a hungry day, I can eat like five. <laughs> I can eat like five, guys. But then to be honest, egg and pepe, I'm not meant to eat only one. So you cannot say I've sinned or anything like that. I can eat like five. Daniel, what are you saying? Five is a good number. Five is like a good number. Anna, can I DM? Can you DM me? Of course you can. Will I reply? Of course I would. <laughs> Let me not be a liar. I check my DMs once in a while. So if you DM me and yes, it's something we can talk about, I'll reply now. Some DMs are very scary, I won't lie. So sometimes when I see those DMs, I simply just delete them because some people be saying some scary things in my DMs. I'll not expose you. But then, obviously, if it's like 
casual convo that I kind of reply to. I would definitely reply. So yes, you can DM me. So why aren't you replying your DMs? If I ever replied a DM, it means you said something scary. And I didn't want to be involved. <laughs> Cause some people can say some scary things like I'm trying to marry you. What was I'm not ready for marriage. Let's relax. Let's relax. Some scary DMs, man. People be wilding out here. People be wilding. I like my brows thick, so I brush them up and outwards. Yeah, just give it sharp edge, like you can just cut you. <laughs> so you're never going to unblock me. This question is a bit personal. I know who sent it. I'm not going to answer this question. Go ask your grandmother. When are you getting married? Why are you people asking me these kind of questions? I'm not even thinking about marriage right now. What do you mean when are you getting married? Are you trying to marry me? When are we getting married? If that's the question you want to ask, but I just a bit shy. When are we getting married? Right, I'm ready to get into some makeups. And I want to meet your mama. And I want to meet your papa. Oh, guys, I'm all up in your face because I'm trying to look in the mirror. Again, I'm just going to put this out there. I don't actually know how to do makeup. I learned how to do makeup from freestyling. If it looks right, then we are there. If it doesn't look right, then I'm literally the most unserious makeup doer in this whole world because what's the meaning of what I've done on my face? But trust the process. Trust the process. Even if you don't trust self, I will do something. The question is, do you work part time? Yeah, I work. I'm a working babe as well as a uni babe. I work at the stadiums in Leicester. I work at King Power in the rugby stadium. Yes, because we need to make that dough. We need to make that money. I'm there. Is your sister the coolest? Or yes. She's I. <laughs> I'm joking here. She's a cool girl. I don't know about the coolest. I think I am the coolest. But Ghana is waiting for the greatness in you. That is such a cute. It's not even a question, but it touched my heart a bit. Ghana is not even ready for what I have to bring to the table. Ghana is not ready. But yeah, that was really touching. Thank you. Ghana, get ready for me. We need to talk now. I don't know you from anywhere. What do we need to talk about? If we have to talk about something, just DM me and I'll reply. Side eye. <laughs> I side. <laughs> I'll reply, don't worry, just DM me. Just DM me. That should be. I'll reply to DM one day. If you can have anyone in the world model your designs, who would it be? I've never actually given this like real thoughts. But for me, for like my first few shows, I really want to use the same models I used as a child. I'm saying child as if I'm not still a child, but then the models that I used for my very first fashion shows, I would love to have them model my first show. I just want them to be involved because they form the foundation of things, you understand? I couldn't have had any of my fashion shows without those OG models. So if they are willing, if they are down, if they want to make a comeback, I would love to work with them again. They are such an amazing set of people and I owe literally everything to them. Any fashion shows from you in Ghana in the future? And I think I got like a few questions that are like similar to that. Would you hold fashion shows in Ghana like you used to? I feel like it's, it's so cute how you guys actually remember that I used to have fashion shows. <laughs> that is so cute. Because my last fashion show was in like 2018. And you guys remember that. I'm still relevant. Oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, of course, their goal, their main goal is to just come back to Ghana. I'm not staying in this country for nothing. I'm coming back, my people. Get ready for me. I will be back. I, okay, I'm not going to say my plans publicly. I don't like doing that. But then the ultimate goal is to return to Ghana and, you know, to take over the world. <laughs> so I got loads of these questions. How did you lose weight? Tips on weight loss. Mini, mini, plenty things. Guys, I wish I could tell you. I lost weight in SHS. Going into SHS, that's when I started losing weight. So from like 2017 through to like 2020. And I would say I owe it to sports. I did multiple sports. I did football, I did hockey, I did javelin, I did discus. You know, I was a sports babe. I was always on the field. You know, that type of vibe. So yeah, I literally did sports like every single day because let's say monday we have football training the next day tuesday we have hockey training so 
I was literally on the field every single day. That's all I can say. And SHS is just like that. You just use it. <laughs> so yeah, I've just put my concealer on. I'm looking a bit like Belakuti. I'm looking like Babalao. I'm looking like I can cast spells right now. I'll just put juju inside your steel. Like, don't mess with me. <laughs> Why are you so fly? Why so fly? I mean, I don't even have to answer this question. If you're fly, you're fly. I am so fly like Aladdin. I steer the ship on the captain. Something they talk in the chat in. But you cannot play with the it. Mm -mm. I am so fly like a lot I actually don't know the words. That was embarrassing. I might cut that out of the video because what was that? No question. You're beautiful. You guys are, you guys are sweet. You're just gassing me up. If you, if you want to say something to me, say it to me direct. Stop, stop complimenting me plenty. You want to say something, just say it. This boy be in my DM. Say I'm pretty. But uh, you don't know that I've been knew that. I, I knew already before I came onto this belt. I knew I was pretty. Thank you. I'm gonna blend this out now. I'm using. Um, <laughs> I'm using this. What's a bad habit you've had that you haven't been able to overcome? And I think this one is a very easy answer. I sleep too much. If there's sleeping risks, I'll be first. Nobody can compete with me. Sleeping, I, I literally sleep for fun right now. I sleep for fun. If I'm not in uni doing work, I'm asleep. So if you can't find me, just know that I'm asleep. When people say they struggle to sleep, I just feel sorry for them because I totally cannot relate to that. I sleep like a stone. <laughs> sleeping is peaceful. I don't know why people hate on sleeping. And I don't know why people stay awake up to 4 a.m. What are you doing? Just sleep now. The night is meant for sleeping. Are you a winch? My bed is a trap. As soon as I hit my bed, two minutes. Two minutes is even a bit long. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. It's bad. It's, it becomes too bad. <laughs> like to do this. Do that. Mm -mm -mm. I know you like the bunch. You like it. Eh? Someone asked me for tips to gain weight. Unless you come and live in my house because my mom would feed you very well. So if you want to gain weight, come and live in my house. <laughs> my mommy will look after you. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? I wish I had an answer to that, like a set answer. I don't think I've ever been a wild girl. I don't think I've ever like broken bounds you know broken rules to the extent that i was expelled or something like nothing like that i always been like goody tissues i don't think i've ever done anything so wild that i can tell it as a story and people will be like oh my god you're so crazy like i've always been calm but i feel like my life is a bit boring maybe i should be getting a bit dangerous maybe i should get a bit you know wild what motivated you and why did you stop your business? So I'm assuming what motivated me to start Nokata. So basically, as a child, I used to write a lot of things. Like I used to write, I want to do this business, I want to do this business, I want to do this and this and that. And I still have that book that has a tall list of business ventures that I want to, you know, do. Nokata was one of them. I always wanted like a skincare line, do you understand? And after SHS, I had to, I was forced into taking a gap year because of COVID and all of that. And I was like, okay, what am I using this gap year for? No Kata was not meant to be launched until like 2026. Per my rough time plan of my life, it wasn't meant to be launched until like 2025, 2026. But I was like, okay, I've got a gap year. Let me just pick one of these and just do them. And I felt like No Kata would be the one. Obviously, I haven't stopped it completely. It's just like temporarily closed until I return to Ghana. Understand? Then I'll pick it back up. But what motivated me is just it was just one of those things. My younger self just being ambitious. Do you understand? What motivates you to work hard? And I always give the same answer. My younger self and my future self motivate me all the time because as as a child, why do I keep saying child as if right now I'm Oluma Boogie? Like, do you understand? <laughs> When I was younger, I used to visualize myself being this kind of person and I don't want to disappoint my younger self, do you understand? So I do all of this for 15-year-old Lololi. 
like do you understand and also i'm doing all of this now for 50 year old lololi do you understand so yeah my younger self and my future self are my motivation she gets i think i want to try a new color why <laughs> This is the eye with mascara. This is the eye without. This eye is looking bald, as you can see. I need to sort this hair out quick. What's the best advice you've ever received? Um, this one, hmm, I don't even know what to say. This one, I have to think, pa, but let me just say something off the top of my head. Best advice I've ever received is simply to keep going and to never give up. Obviously, it's not a best piece of advice, but then that's what I can think of off the top of my head right now. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to quickly jump into what I'm wearing for the night and answer the last three or two questions. Alright, I'm dressed now. I'm wearing this green top. It's got tassels on the front. Anyway, let's get back into these questions. So I got this question quite a few times. Seems like people are a bit interested. Who are a bit interested? Let's answer. Let's, let's answer these questions. So we can set the record straight. What's your boyfriend's name? My boyfriend's name is. <laughs> What's your boyfriend's name? What's your boyfriend's name? My boyfriend's name is Devon. I'm just gonna say it and I'm not say anything further. My boyfriend's name is Devon. You were just asking like, are you dating? Do you have a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. His name is Devon. Okay. Same with the band. Nobody should go searching for him because I'll put his picture right here. This is the band. That's my man's. He doesn't know yet, but you know. Before it was Rashford. Before it was Rashford, but then Rashford has gone to get engaged, and it doesn't seem morally right that I'll still have a crush on Rashford. So I've moved on to Rema. Anybody that wants to pick a fight, catch me outside. I'm boxing now, so you should be scared. You should be scared to fight me. And. Why are you not part of YOLO season 6? I think I'm going to conclude this video on this question because I've answered quite a lot of questions and I feel like this video is going to be really long and I'm practically almost done. I'm just going to touch up my hair and then head out. Why am I not in YOLO season 6? I think the reason is very obvious. I moved out of Ghana to further my education and when they were shooting YOLO season 6, I wasn't in the country so there was no way my spirits could have, you know, <laughs> my spirits could have acted for me. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm not in Yulu season 6. It's not anything too big. So yeah, I'm done. Ready to go to this Ghana party. And I'm going to vlog this Ghana party. So my next video is going to be Ghana Independence Day vlog. So I'm expecting all the Ghanaians to assemble. So if I don't find my Ghanaian husband today, I'm probably going to marry somebody from Angola. Because... <laughs> It's looking a bit long now. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.